hello everyone and welcome back to my channel this is a video from Miriam classic essentials plus and i am Miriam Ozodenma. this is a liquid soap making of a liquid soap with sodium hydroxide it's something that i have tried making before and i can't remember if i had success i think i did but I would like to try it again to see how it goes here you will see me um, pouring out, pouring in my weighed out oils into my slow cooker I have already set it on high it has warmed up a little so I was pouring in the oils I use mainly soft oils extra virgin olive oil canola oil sunflower oil and palm kernel oil now most of the oils i used uh, i think this batch is a total of like 452 grams and 400 of 400 grams of the oils are all soft oils is only 52 grams that is a palm kernel oil because i really wanted to i, I really wanted to achieve i really wanted to achieve a soft paste so that i could achieve a runny or let me say a liquid because sodium hydroxide is not sodium hydroxide is not used for liquid soap making it's used for hard soap making like bar soaps so i have seen a few videos online talking about using or that tried using sodium hydroxide to make liquid soap and i just wanted to see if i could have success with it so it's more like an experiment and a trial batch okay you see me weighing out my lye caustic soda and um i am about to make my lye solution um i have already weighed out my water and here i am dissolving my lye into the water please please i'm sorry i did not use gloves for this um video but please always wear gloves and wear especially wear nose mask and wear goggles when you're doing this and here i just poured in my hot lye allow the light to actually clear the light solution to clear a little or to clear completely before you pour it into your um oils the oils have gotten a little bit hot because my crock pot was on high here and i started using my uh, stick blender to try to emulsify and to hit a trace because the oils that i used in this um production is uh, they are mainly soft oils it will take me a while for me to hit trees i actually stick blended for between three to five minutes but i cut off some parts and i kind of like fast forwarded the rest so i it took me time for me to even hit light trees but i got to light trees in like i think four minutes or so and i decided to just allow it to cook so this is what my batter was looking like after like 20 to 25 minutes that i started cooking so here it is important for you to try to stir try to come and check on your batter and you stir to mix very well so that the heat distribution will be even and the cooking will be even this is like another 35 minutes I think 35 to 40 minutes after the first 25 minutes i came back and i noticed a slight separation and it looks like applesauce going into mashed potato stage so here i just took my spatula and i stayed and stayed a little and i noticed that i heat much potato stage while i was stirring that's when you find out that it doesn't scatter anymore it starts to get sticky it's not like scattering and it's not like it's separating it will start to stick together that's when you get into the mash and it looks like when you boil potato and you mash it 
that's what it looks like so that's the stage that we're in and now we're getting into okay now you can see from the video you will see that it looks fully like mashed potato we are in that stage now at this stage you can actually start checking for clarity and you can check if actually your um paste is fully cooked so this is the first clarity test i put just a little paste into water this is boiled water it is not um distilled water it is just normal tap water that i boiled and i was trying to check for the clarity here you won't see much in this container i had to swap it into a glass cup for you to be able to see the clarity or the cloudiness now here it looked clear i stared and stared for me to be able to break the paste as much as i could and when i turned it into the glass container i noticed that it was so cloudy though it was on its way to getting clear anyway so i put this back into the crock pot and kept cooking for let's say another five minutes and by the time i was done in five minutes i decided to do the second clarity test now like i said this is just an experiment i just wanted to see if this was actually possible and sometimes they say this thing depends on whether where you stay anyway so here the paste is fully done you can see the look is at vaseline stage and here if you do a zap test you won't feel a zap at your tongue this is the second clarity test as you can see so here i am pouring in my boiled tap water on another of the paste and i stared and i did not get cloudiness i just got a little bit of blur just a tiny bit of blur mm -hmm. then i remember that this particular calculation i did it with four percent super fat so super fat is another thing that causes cloudiness or blur in liquid soaps so i decided to leave it at that and so let me do a ph test and my ph test came back looking green that's between eight to ten okay according to the ph table here you see it matches a seven matches a eight it matches a nine so we are between eight to nine ph that is perfect for skin use so this can be able to be diluted and used as a basic body wash like a base for a body wash you can use it also as a base for hair shampoo but i won't want to use it for a hair shampoo i rather to I would rather stick with body washes you can decide to like maybe dilute this with maybe a herbal water like maybe uh green tea maybe you make a tea out of green leaves green tea leaves or neem leaves or whatever you want to make a tea out of turmeric um then for people that want to like maybe you just get a liquid and you dilute it with it normally the um dilution range to say if you want a thick paste is normally one is to two some people do one is to one as the same weight of the um paste is the same weight of the water use it to dilute it but most times you come out with a very thick paste at like that now bearing in mind that this is sodium hydroxide and not potassium hydroxide you may likely have to use more water because it's going to of course come off thicker so i ended up diluting here with 540 mils of water i first of all added the second dilution that i did second clarity test i poured back the liquid and put back the paste so everything weighed the paste that i put back into my crock pot because i had already cleared out my crock pot here so the paste that i weighed back into my crock pot was 270 grams and the first water i poured in was 200 ml 
then I poured in another 300 grams of water which is equivalent to 300 ml then I rinsed out some of these containers that has some paste in it with like about 50 ml of water so in total I added 550 ml or grams of water to dilute this paste which is exactly one is to two okay and I added a uh, hundred ml of uh, ethanol now ethanol is one of the products of alcohol you have the ethanol you have the methanol then there are other ones but I use you have the propanol so I was using ethanol here I because it's kind of like safe for skin you also have the isopropyl alcohol so I used ethanol here I added 100 ml into this and covered it up I just stirred a little bit and covered it up and with a cloth too to at least allow the heat to still stay within the crock pot and I turned off my crock pot I didn't even put it on, on warm I just turned it off completely like I just wanted it to just dilute slowly just take his time to dilute so this is the rest of the paste by the time I weighed it on my scale I got 400 and um, about 400 grams or so 401 grams of paste so I just put it in a container as always I put a label on it stating the date um, what is made of the oils I used and um just normal to label it so that i'll know what it is if maybe i i will i find i find out what it is maybe, maybe in two or three months time when i forget so this is what the paste looks like and i've labeled it and it's a very very soft paste this is fully cooled down and when i touch it it was so soft very soft okay so the selection of oils actually is like i made good selections i believe so I just wanted to show you how the dilution was going before I finally covered it up. This was before noon that day. Um, I just covered it up and it was diluting slowly. It was dissolving slowly and my slow cooker was already off, totally off. So this was later that day, I think about 10 p.m. that night. I came downstairs and went to the kitchen to check on it and I noticed that I saw an almost fully dissolved liquid. The viscosity was good, quite good if you ask me. And if this were to like cool off completely, the viscosity would be quite thick. So I noticed that we still had some small transparent chunks left. So I decided to add another 250 ml of water to make it 1 is to 3, that's 1 part paste to 3 parts water. So I added this to further help to dilute the chunks, but I did not wait for that, for it to be diluted. What I did was that as I added the water, I needed to use a crock pot to do something else. So I just sterilized the container with alcohol and and uh, I poured the liquid the liquid soap inside the container to allow it to just melt by itself there. And I'm just going to leave it out for a few days, maybe for three to four days to maybe a week. Then I'll go back and check on it if the experiment worked, if actually it's going to stay fluid, liquid. Or if it's going to turn to a jelly glob, sometimes you just go back and you just see this jelly squishy mass there. So I'll know if I actually did a good job. Off camera, I added um, uh, 0.5% of liquid Jamal Plus and um, I stirred it in because since it has come in contact with water, it definitely definitely needs a preservative 
though for the ph that it has between the ph of 8 and 10 it's supposed to be self-preserving now this is a dual lie uh dual lie liquid soap i made a few